Hi, I'm Scott. It's Azure Fridays. I'm here with Stefan from Azure Websites. Uh, so I've t we talked about scaling uh, yep. the website, and the example that we're using is, uh, is Hansel Minutes. Now, I assume, though, that because I'm in the cloud, I've got a lot of neighbors and other websites, I'm always afraid that uh, you're going to kind of shut me down because you notice that no one's visited in a while. So there's this whole discussion about warm versus cold sites. No one wants to have a cold startup. Correct, correct. So ultimately, as you can imagine, in the free tier, we're very sensitive about that because we want to pack as many of those sites as possible on our given resources. And so we will absolutely watch and see if a site becomes idle and we'll just shut it down. So if I'm running in standard, I, I really don't have to worry about availability. I'm 24-7. Correct. Okay, even if operating system upgrades are happening. Yes. And auto scale is happening. Yes. That's cool. Uh, so there's this thing here called endpoint monitoring. You mentioned Pingdom. There's services like that that will basically poke at your site to make sure it's still up. Yes. And, and I actually like to run two. Yep. Because I don't trust them. Yep, yep. Ex well, that's, that's sort of like NASA. I think they like to run three voting systems and mm -hmm. uh, assume that two out of three of them are probably correct most of the time. Okay, and then we've got endpoint monitoring as well. Yep, so that's a recent piece of functionality that we were, um, was announced in preview mode, I think a little while ago back at the, uh, the build conference. Mm -hmm. So I can have two of these. So this, how does this work? So ultimately, what, what you're going to do is, in the scope of your web app, you're going to tell us one or more, in this case, two specific URLs that you want us just to basically go out and periodically call. And then you can see here that you're, you can tell us where you want that test client to actually run. And mm. so sometimes people want the test client to ping from the exact same data center that they're in. Okay. Um, other times, for example, maybe you're a US-based company, but you've got customers in Europe. So maybe you're going to have one endpoint monitoring with the client in the US and one where you set it up in Europe because okay. you just want to know, hey, uh, you know, maybe uh, somebody accidentally snipped the transatlantic cable. That would be a way of actually quickly detecting that. Okay. And I can say uh, two different endpoints, and it's going to watch for uh, any HTTP errors that are like 400s. Yes, I mean, in essence, it's the, con the, the, the canonical thing is, I'm going to get a 404 because for some reason, um, I'm not able to actually get to the page. Or again, maybe uh, you were mentioning you were sort of uh, had excessive traffic, so mm -hmm. maybe you start getting 400s where requests just start timing out for no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. So it's basically those class of errors that are indicative that you know, you normally wouldn't expect those to suddenly pop up, and so if they do start happening, hey, let's let's go out and raise an alert, or in this case, I believe it sends you an email saying, hey, something's going on. Right, right. And this is going to take the HTTP 400, anything above that, something bad happened, anything below that, you're probably fine. Exactly, oh, exactly. Okay. Now, does this mean, though, that I could potentially cheat on like a free or shared and keep my site up by monitoring and poking at it? So I, uh, I believe right now, yes, you could probably keep your site running basically forever if you ended up doing that. Um, suffice it to say, we're well aware of that. Mm. Um, for the time being, as long as we don't see you know, any, shall we say, abuse of that, um, we're not particularly worried about it. Um, but as is always the case with the free mode, like I said, we're always watching how the resources are being utilized. And so you never know, uh, you know, in the coming weeks or months, we might end up tweaking that a bit. But I'm hearing you say that I don't have to worry about keeping my site warm if I'm on standard. Actually, uh, thinking about it, for endpoint monitoring, mm -hmm. it's only available in standard mode. There you go. So you solved that problem already. Exactly. That's how Nicely we ended done. up solving that. You solved it in 10 seconds. That was amazing. <laughs> <No. laughs> But the, 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 the salient point there that I got was that once I've paid for standard, my website is 24-7. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that is super interesting. Cool. It's Azure Friday.